Ron McCoy here at Justice League headquarters. We embarked upon some truly unusual adventures this week. Stay tuned for all of the strange details. Our special schedule is as follows. On day one, we have library, day two, music, day three, PE, and day four, art. For the specific days when we have each of the specials classes, be sure to refer to the small version of the newsletter. Up next, this week's academic accomplishments. Remember, you can access the links that your child is using in class each day by going to the small version of the newsletter. In math, we've worked with polygons and triangles. Students had the opportunity to solve problems with Dorothea Lange's polygon triangle extravaganza, as well as the great polygon search and crash. Students also solved problems with the mysterious traveler strikes and Audie Murphy's guide to customary capacity. And they answered the question, how do you measure up? In science, we've looked at the physics of roller coasters and done some roller coaster research in preparation for students constructing their own roller coasters. We also looked at zip lines and how those work, and we uh, looked at Newton's laws of motion and engineering design with regard to zip lines. Students also created their own zip lines. In writing, we've continued to work with argumentative essays, redrafting to add more evidence while balancing evidence with analysis. Students also had the opportunity to take their arguments up a notch. They also used an evaluation form, which gave them the opportunity to answer the question, how great can your writing be? With regard to phonics and spelling, it's unit 31, adjacent vowels and unstable digraphs. In reading, we've been using a dictionary or glossary, as well as looking at varieties of English, dialect, and register. Students also settled in for a 1930s radio broadcast, Mystery Theater, The Visiting Corpse. They also had the opportunity to work on finding the theme of a poem, as well as analyzing visual elements in literary texts. And in social studies, we've learned all about Dorothea Lang, photographer for the Great Depression, we looked at a short video called Germany during the Great Depression. Students also used reading skills as they learned about making a difference, entertainment during hard times, and global depression. We also looked at Audie Murphy's story in a short biography, and students used their ability to read carefully to crack the code. Hannah is tired of holiday gatherings. Uh, it seems like her family only talks about the past, but Hannah gets more than she bargained for when she is magically transported back through time to the era of the Holocaust. That's the premise in The Devil's Arithmetic by Jane Yolen, and that is our current read aloud. Also, your child is uh, mesmerized each and every day by what goes on in Literacy Corner. You can access the links to The Devil's Arithmetic and each day's Literacy Corner by going to the s'more version of the newsletter. Also included in this week's edition is an article, Eight Ways to Encourage Motivation in Your Child. Here's the article. Self-motivation is a trait that is often underrated. It's more than just getting out of bed in the morning. It can have a huge impact on how well your child does at school. Children are naturally motivated to learn until they're about seven years old. After this time, they'll need the ability to motivate themselves, a vital skill if they are to succeed. It's true that self-motivation can only come from within, but there are ways you can help your child to nurture it, giving them an advantage that will pay off later in life. Here are eight ways. Encourage optimism, focusing on solutions to problems rather than dwelling on setbacks, combined with having a positive outlook on life. In class, we talk about the class. In class, we talk about the glass as being half full. 
encourage persistence, reward effort rather than just success. This will help your child to develop the resilience they'll need to face failure and to keep trying until they succeed. Deal with failure. Teach your child to accept that sometimes they will fail. Showing them how to lose or win gracefully will help your child have the ability to deal with and move on from setbacks later in life. Encourage interests. Children who have a range of interests will be exposed to different opportunities. Combined with a good work-life balance, this will make the less interesting tasks they face less demoralizing and easier to face. Celebrate achievement. Knowing how to celebrate and enjoy success, both their own and others, will give your child something positive to aim for. Make success possible. Give your child the opportunity to be successful and experience the positive emotions that go with it. Supporting and guiding them will help build the self-esteem that is necessary to uh, vital self-motivation. Foster their interests. Encouraging a child to learn about things that interest them will allow them to better understand the concepts they learn in school, especially if you're creative about the way you link their interest to learning. And adapt to their learning style. Some children will sit and listen to new information. Others want to pick things up and use them straight away. Adapting to their preferred way of learning will keep learning fun and not a chore. Also included in this week's edition are some wonderful websites. There's a website about the attack on Pearl Harbor. There is also a website focusing on Audie Murphy, as well as solids, liquids, and gases. And there's also websites featuring science, fun, and games, such as fun experiments to do at home, as well as one called Science Games for Kids. So be sure to have your child check out those websites. As your child continues to work on the homework each week, remember, I am the homework hotline. I am in the adventure with you. Have your child call me at 816-415-0368. You can be in the adventure with us by following us on Twitter. The link can be found in the small version of the newsletter. And coming next week, it's issue number 32 entitled Justice League Unleashed. It will come your way for the week ending Friday, April 22, 2022. Be sure to tune in this video version, as well as this more version of Mr. McCoy's Weekly Log.